Hello, everybody. Well, we're working on mics again today. Well, I say again today for y'all because this is a new day for y'all. Same day for me. I literally just stopped filming the other video, and I'm back on this one. So I'm, I'm trying to get after some of this today. This is the one we just got the pull start. We got the pull start done. It is so much slicker. Cleaning that spring up and greasing everything makes a difference. <clears throat> I'd almost be willing to bet, had we had just greased the spring, we could have probably let the rest of it go. <clears throat> but, when we're out doing a full service, why we just want to do half the service when we're doing a full service? Now, I may have lost my 916 socket. Maybe I did. I had it outside the other day and I didn't remember putting it back on the table. But, we're going to go in here and check this uh, <coughs> clutch spring. Now, if you look, if you've got a flange gold nut and you look at the gold nut, there's an arrow pointing that way. That means try to tighten it. Because if you spin it the wrong way, you'll twist the end of the crankshaft off. Now getting this up sometimes can be a royal pickle. Copper. You can do it with a steel hammer, but I do not suggest it. This clutch drum has got A bunch of wire on it. Ooh. It ain't been too good to the crankshaft, I can tell you that. Crank seal looks like it ain't leaking, so. This bearing is dry. And this clutch drum is worn. Oh, mercy. I'm going to see if the clutch drum is worn as bad as the bearing. It ain't the best in the world, I can tell you that right now. It's really... It's really got a lot of wear on it. The crank ain't in the best of shape either, so. Oh, come on now, don't you come out of there. Baron's trying to get out of the, the hickey do. The hickey do and the do hickey. All right, I'm going to pause y'all for a minute. I'm going to see if I can find some clutch of drum and a baron or a baron or whatever. All right. This might not be a very long video here. Uh, just checking, clean the end of this crank up. Yeah, that's impressive. It looked a whole lot. <coughs> It looked a whole lot worse than that. Alright, I found another bearing. Uh, I haven't decided which one's the tightest yet. This bearing here is a steel cage bearing. This is a rod bearing for something. It does fit in there. Let's stick it on there. I found this. I got just about a brand new clutch drum. Had a little bit of dirt in it. Oh yeah, that's way tighter. Check that bearing. We're going to check this bearing too. Yeah, that bearing's... That bearing's wore. That bearing's wore a lot. Alright, <clears throat> so... 
Look, there's a little bit of black on this barn. I'm just going to hit this scotch right here. Just wipe some of it off. Try to get it clean as you can. This, some of this stuff's got some age on it, y'all. I mean, it does. It's just... I think this is a raw barn. I mean, I could be wrong. I just, I basically have a container with needle bands in it. And I go and dig through them. Now, make sure everything looks good. I'm just going to run this scotch right through the center of it. Just trying to make sure it's good and clean. There ain't nothing stuck in it. Because these, I mean, these barns eat a lot of garbage anyway, so they're all the time getting stuff in them. Rope, string, sawdust. I'll make sure it's as clean as I can get it. Oh yeah, that's, that's much better. Now it's shiny. Now it's shiny. Yeah. We're going to put some grease on everything. And go back to putting it back together. A little bit on here and try to keep it off the try to keep as much off this taper as you can because grease and tapers don't work well together so try not to put grease on the taper because it will it will restrict your clutch from seating on there good if you have a bunch of grease on that taper Tapers are dry fit, so we're gonna put it on there and we're gonna just wipe the grease off of it. Now, the one thing about this drum versus the other one, this is a seven small spline, this is a seven standard. So sprocket won't fit. But I got some of these new. I got some of these new, so I can't open my Ziploc bag anymore to save my life. <clears throat> See how loose it is? This is this is a McCulloch drum. This is an Oregon drum. So Oregon sprocket. There you have it. A little bit of a burr in that thing or something. In the end of that sprocket. Yeah. It won't have a burr in it once it runs a little bit. Oh, that's much better. That's much more better. All right. My shoes are a little bit rough on this thing. We're going to go ahead and dig sawdust out of the spare hole. <coughs> I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over and I'm going to hit this thing on the scuffing pad. All right. I just just hit it on the scuffing pad to give it a new surface to uh, drag on that clutch with. Since uh, since that's a pretty fresh drum, well, there we go. 
don't drive that thing on there if it's not straight. That should be that should be all it requires. Uh, somebody broke that handle and fixed it with a piece of pipe. That's a uh, decomp didn't blow out. What the heck? I cleaned that decomp up just a little bit. I'm checking this out for a fella to get it. He wanted me to go over it and have a look at everything and <clears throat> clean it up. I already fixed the plug boot. I didn't film that. So, and one thing you can do if you're not sure whether the decomp's working on these. There's, there's an Allen bolt right here. We're going to go ahead and check this one while we're here. Little old short Allen screw, socket head cap screw. That's where the passageway is drilled for the for the decomp. Okay, there's a. I run the piston up the top dead center. Look at the yak in there. There's a pretty small hole down there. These ain't like the Huskies where you can go all the way down in there, I don't guess. I was thinking like it was, but it's not. <clears throat> so. Now the decomp should trigger. Should. Let's see if it does. Might be flooded now. Sometimes they're stopped up in the cylinder. So, I know a lot of people don't know about this stuff here, but it is, it's something else. Make sure the decomp's closed. Just a little bit more drill bit out there. There's just a small hole down in there.
it's been a while since I cleaned one of these out, so <laughs> I usually do them <clears throat> when they're off, but I haven't, I haven't done it in a long time. Good heavens, it's still full. I, I can't see down in there the best of anything. We will get it cleaned out though. I promise you we will. We either get it cleaned out or I'll drill a new hole. I thought they were big enough to go all the way through. Oh, it is. It's just gacked up that much. Yeah. It was gacked up a lot, a lot more than I, I could have swore there was a little hole down in there, but, yeah, you know. Hey, it's been a motor over there. Yeah, some air comes out of there now. Pissing up top dead center where I can rinse it out. Now let's see what happens. I bet it'll kick the decomp out now. <laughs> Let me give it a little time and I'll bring you back. Alright, I think I about got it cleared. I don't see no oil coming out. There we 
we go. <coughs> it was stopped up. See what happens now. I really hate fooling with the oiler, but I guess I'll go in there and check it out. I got oil going all over the place for some reason. I don't know. Must be where I shot it out on the table. I'm going to say it probably is. All right. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed this one. I'm going to go check this oiler out and we'll find out whether I film it or not. So, help. Yep. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good day. Stay safe. Be kind. Treat each other the way you want to be treated. God bless. Remember, Jesus loves you. They'll hop around.